And now you're coming up against Bayer Leverkusen and there's a big star there right now in Kai Havertz and everybody's got their eye on this player. Are you looking forward to the challenge of coming up against him? Of course. We want to play against great, uh, great players like Kai Havertz, but there's not only Kai Havertz at Bayer Leverkusen because there are much uh, other players like Karim Bellarabi, uh, Diaby, Arang Aranguis. Um, yeah, it's a big challenge for us. Um, we are happy to face them in a semi-final and yeah, make a competition with them. Do they use the term in German football, a Cinderella team? Do you know what a Cinderella team is? Yeah, I know what it is. Uh, yeah, we c you can say that. It's okay for us. Um, um, yeah, it's like, David against Goliath, you know this story? Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Um, yeah, that's our, our, our journey in the DFB Pokal. And yeah, maybe David wins again. It's been an amazing season for FC Saarbrück. And obviously, you have the caveat of the fact that play's been stopped because of the pandemic. But you were leading the fourth tier. Now that it's stopped and the league was cancelled, because you were leading your champions, you've gone up, promoted to the third division. And now to be in the semi-final of a cup competition like this, just one game away from the final of a huge competition, would it be the icing on the cake to make that final? Yes, that's right. It would, uh, it's, this would be the, the top of our season. But our, our biggest goal was um, the promotion in the third league. And we reached that. Yeah, we are disappointing about the the way, uh, like the pandemic, we and wanted to play it on the pitch. Um, yeah, but we are happy that we are getting promoted, and now the semi-final. We hope the final in Berlin. Yeah, it's disappointing without our fans, but I think everybody is watching us on TV, and yeah, absolutely. Everybody will be watching. Tell me a little bit about the story of the team celebrating after getting through to the semi-final, after winning that quarter-final. Because I saw reports that the team celebrated and then many of the players felt sick afterwards. Yes, uh, it was a big party. Much, much drinks, much alcohol. Uh, um, it goes till five till or six in the morning. Um, with police in the, in the city because we were, were too too noisy and <laughs> well, but it was a big day for for Zabrik and for us and yeah the, the party was was nice. <laughs> I'm sure it was very nice and you had every right to party as well. But I think that after that promotion, did that make you all think twice about partying again with everything that's going on? Because surely none of you want to miss a game of this magnitude. Yeah, that's right. The party would be maybe after the semi-final. Um, it's yeah, for us is um, if we win or lose, the 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 season is a great season, and we will celebrate um, both scenarios. Um, yeah, but no, actually, you cannot make a party because the pandemic and the the things from the government from the from the government. Um, yeah, this comes and in, comes in the future. Are you guys in the training camp in quarantine now? Yes, since yesterday. Oh, since yesterday. How long for then? Will it just until this game? Till the game, yeah. Uh, Tuesday. So Di you'll be missing your little directly dog. Directly to the match. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, my, my little dog is my, my little princess. <laughs> Bailey, very cute little dog. Go check out Daniel's Instagram and you'll be able to see her as well. But listen, Daniel, what has been the secret to your side's success this season? Because to be top of your league... And then to be making waves like this in a cup competition and knocking first Bundesliga teams out, how has this happened as a team? Our team spirit is our, our, is our, um, yeah, our secret. Um, everybody is, is running for the other one. Um, we are fighting together as a team. Um, we are still positive in every situation on the pitch. Um, we can talk uh, to each other. Um, Face to face, um, if it's all not normal uh, themes, um, you wouldn't talk any um, any day, and that's a big secret. The communication in our team, between our team, um, 
and the team spirit. Everybody believes in 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 our in our um, strengths. Um, yeah, and that's our big secret. Now, to have home field advantage is usually a big positive for any side, especially against a big team like Bayer Leverkusen. But obviously, with the pandemic, you won't have the fans there, and you're not playing in your actual stadium this season. So, is home field advantage still home field advantage at a time like this? Yeah, our stadium is very, very specific stadium, but because it's just a half stadium, you walk into into the on the pitch, and then on the left side there is um, yeah normally our fans, and on the right side there are trees, woods. <laughs> There's nothing, and that's very um, specific for for teams in the first division or in the second. Um, yeah. You can say it's a home advantage, but our fans, um, yeah, we will miss our fans in this in this big game. Um, yeah, we will looking forward how we can do this uh, at this Tuesday in, our, in the semi-finals, but we will do our best. I think by the time that you play by Leverkusen, they'll have played five games so far since play returned. As for you guys, you've not played in, what, three months? I saw that one of your players had said that this could be a disadvantage, but apparently our coach thinks it could be an advantage. So what is it if you've not played in all this time to come up against a team like this? An advantage or a disadvantage? Our coach is, very posi is a very positive uh, human um, and I, I go for our coach. It could be an advantage because we just getting prepared for one game and Bayer Leverkusen's focus is... Uh, at the Bundesliga, because they want to reach the Champions League, um, maybe this is our advantage. Normally, if you see it from from outside, there, it's a disadvantage because you get in, you get in that competition matches. Um, yeah, you're missing that feeling uh, to comp comp to be competitive on the pitch. Um, practice is not the same like com competition, and yeah, but I think it's an advantage because our coach is so positive. And gives us to give this to us. Yeah, make sure you say the right things. Make sure you stay in the coach's favour there. Listen, tell me about the preparations because surely for every single player, this season has been different to anything they would have expected. So how have you guys been preparing and how is it different to usual? I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, in the last weeks we're getting prepared, we make our homework workouts from our coaches. Uh, because we can't uh, go to practice last week. Um, we are in team, team practice since three or four weeks. Um, yeah, it's about um, our physics, our, our, our bodies. Uh, we do a lot of um, yeah, muscle training. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, not, it's a normal preparation for, for a game. Um, but everyone is, uh, knows that is a big game for us. But yeah, the preparation is still the same like usual. So I saw that you've been voted man of the match in three of the games in the cup competition this season. Is this the best season you've had? Yes, it's the best season I played in uh, since I play professional football. Yeah. What do you think that's down to? I don't, sorry, I don't. I don't understand. Why do you think it's been your best season? What, what's different for you? I don't know, really. Um, I got a new, a new goalkeeper coach in, uh, before the season. Uh, yeah, he yeah, goes other ways. Uh, a lot of communication with my goalkeeper co coach. Um, maybe this will be, will be the secret. And I'm feeling confident since, since day, day one uh, of the season. Maybe that's the secret. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.